Welcome, duelists, to YCS Dusdorf coverage. You we're here with me, JJ, and we're joined today with Max and Bruce, uh, pretty prominent players in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. So, Bruce, what was your idea going into the event? How, how, what did you expect the turnout to be for yourself? I love YCS. It's, it's so great to see friends from my other country. So, I'm just here for the fun, but I expected like a huge turnout of the new settlement grade, uh, the new structure deck came out really popular. Well, what do you think of it as a deck, actually? Uh, I think it's very prominent. Uh, it has a lot of plays that can just start with one or two cards. So you have a lot of space for other cards to counter the format. So I think it's really good. Did you like consider playing something else going into the event? Or did you like say, well, oh, this is the deck for me, I will go with this? I considered Danger Spiral for a moment because I'm very known with the deck. Uh, but then it turns out that everybody was playing Thunder Dragon and that's a really bad matchup. And Artifact Scythe coming back into the format didn't make things easier, so I decided to not play it. Oh, okay, okay. And then, and then for Max, more or less the same question to you. Yeah. I was mostly here. I, I also liked the YCS and it just to see a lot of friends and people you've met through the card game, including Bruce, yeah, yeah is, uh, is the best uh, fun there is. Even playing the event, I played Thunder Danger, because I thought it was one of the better decks, and then I got destroyed by Salaman Great two rounds in a row, and I actually lost to Spiral as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> But, but with Salaman Great, yeah, like you said, it was just three different hand traps. I couldn't play the game. Still end on a Colossus. And he goes, normal summon Gazelle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> then we kind of know what goes on after that one. So then, so then to both of you, did you think that going into this event that Salaman Great probably been the most predominant deck, seeing that, you know, on Valentine's Day, you know, the time of burning love and everything that the deck would be coming out, that this would be one of the strongest decks in the format. I was testing against it, and when I played Thunder Dragon, it's just like every time they couldn't do anything. And if they had two hand traps, or one or two, it didn't matter, I could still go through it. But they always had three against me. <laughs> so, but the deck is strong in itself. Like I did not know that it could out a Colossus as easy as it, as it does. Uh, so there's more or less like you get more matchup knowledge going into an official event and yeah. get more experience against that. So for me, I thought Salaman Great would be a huge turnout thanks to the new structure deck being so accessible to everyone. Um, although with the striker still being at full power, I didn't know how good it was going to be. Also, Thunder Dragon, the deck Max played, is a really good deck. Uh, and Sandman Gate can struggle to play against it if it does not open the correct cards to counter the matchup. So, yeah, it was. I think it's a good deck, but it has some really hard matchups. Okay, so then in talking about matchups, so then of course you need to practice a lot. And then going to an event like this, something so large as this, playing against almost 3,000 people, <laughs> well, end day on the event one, so YCS one was 2,400 people, crazy, right? Yeah. And then event two was 600. That's really insane. And then one of the largest represented decks was Salomon Great. And then of course you need to test. How do you guys even go about that? Well, I just call up some friends and say, yo, you want to test with me this matchup? And uh, then I just uh, yeah, try it out, thinking about tech cards that we might use. But yeah, it was hard. Like the, the sentiment grade mirror is hard because the one that goes first has a huge advantage being able to set up the counter traps. It's really annoying. <laughs> I can only imagine. And then for you, Max? I did basically the same, like uh, the day before, like the week before, we just continuously tested. Uh, and that's why I said like, we had built Salaman Great Tech as well. Uh, we were playing against it and I was like, every time uh, they had all the search cards versus Colossus, so they couldn't, I was like, 
okay, the matchup is in my favor. I think it's like the new trick star. Like, it's... W wait, what do you mean in a sense that, that actually? Like, uh, it's a deck with a small main engine that can has a lot of room to play hand traps. Okay. Because even with, like, tricks are in spiral format, you had, like, like, 12 hand traps, like, minimum. Uh, now it's the same with Salamangrate. So basically a very explosive deck using a small amount of cards doing very good things. Yeah. So then, like, you know, taking away from Salamangrate in a moment, like... In your words, what was one of your most favorite formats then? Since you're talking about like one of the older ones, where Sky Strike was pretty predominant, lots of hand traps, very low engine, and you could just fit a lot of stuff in it. What was one of your favorites? Uh, National Season 2014. Oh. Yeah. Because I loved Spellbook. <laughs> I really loved Spellbook. It was a little, it's, it's a deck I still have built to this day. Like when I played it then and it's just whenever I have a chance I play that format because it's still it's it's amazing <laughs> okay and then uh, for me yeah like to, spiral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah spiral is the deck I love the most I'm not gonna lie um, but to say spiral format when like double helix came out was a good format I'd not say that but I love the deck, um, but most favorite format? I think when Necros was around, like I loved Necros mirror matches. Like they were so back and forth, uh, the, the match about it all, like uh, playing around your resources, uh, controlling the field, making sure you cannot get Trish, uh, how's it called? Trishla. Uh, yeah, it was a really interesting matchup. So that's probably my favorite format. Okay, so what are the most important parts that you think that you should have as a quality as a Yu-Gi-Oh player? Just to name two, just two. Um, have fun, that's the most important. And second, just play a lot, play the deck you like. Uh, the deck has so many options, uh, the, the game just offers a variety of game plans. Pick the one you're comfortable with and go with it. I say knowledge and patience. Because that does sound really good. That sounds really good. But okay. So I'd like to thank each and every last one of you awesome viewers for tuning on in and stopping on by. I'd like to wish you an awesome day.